Hello everybody, Jonathan Rayo here with Simplified Guitar, and today I want to talk about strumming with a pick versus strumming with your finger. We'll talk about the pros and cons of both, as well as a bonus tip at the end of how to do both at the same time. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So let's start off discussing the pick or the plectrum. So when you're strumming with a pick, obviously the pro to strumming with a pick is that it's going to give you a much more vibrant sound. The sound is going to be a lot louder than if you were to strum with your finger. Now maybe you don't want a loud sound, and in that case then that's fine. But that is one of the pros of the pick. It will give you a louder, more vibrant sound. Now there's a lot of different gauge picks to pick from, as well as different shapes and sizes. And if you're an absolute beginner, I always recommend that you use an extremely light gauge pick, as light as you can get, like an extra light or something like that. And the reason is, is that it's going to be a lot more forgiving. So it's not going to want to fly out of your hand as much as some of the heavier gauge picks. But at the same time, with those extra light gauge picks, they do tend to be a bit more slappy. Uh, meaning, you know, like kind of like a, like a playing card in the spokes of uh, a kid's bike or something. You know, it's going to be a very slappy kind of sound. Um, if it's if it's very flexible, but it's a great place to start because again It's going to be more forgiving and it's gonna fly out less often from your hands personally I use a medium gauge pick. That's what I like when it comes to holding your pick There's a lot of different ways that people do it, but I like to use three points of contact Basically, I've got my first and second finger holding on one side and then my thumb on the other So I've got three points of contact there and when you're actually doing the strumming you want to make sure that your hand, your wrist is loose and fluid. You don't want to be squeezing the life out of your pick because that's going to make things a lot harder. In fact, your pick is more likely to fly out of your hand if your hand is really rigid. So you want to make sure that your wrist is nice and loose and that the pick is going with the flow of your hand. So if your hand is moving down, your pick is pointing up towards you. And if your hand is moving up, your pick is pointing down towards the floor. Now I'm kind of exaggerating this movement right here just to get my point across, uh, because what this is going to do, it's going to help the pick not to fly out of your hand, because it's not going to be fighting with the movement of your hand. It's going to be moving with the movement of your hand. And if you don't use picks because they keep flying out of your hands, try this and see if it works for you. Now, when it comes to strumming without a pick and using your finger, the benefit to this is that you can just pick up a guitar and start strumming even if you don't have a pick around. It also tends to have a more kind of mellow sound to it, and that may be something you're going for. So when I'm strumming with my finger, typically what I'll do is use my index finger and I'll strum, do my down strums with the fingernail on my first finger. And then when I do my up strums, I'll do those also with my first finger, but with the pad of my first finger. Now, usually when you're strumming with that finger, it has more of like an airy indie singer-songwriter kind of sound to it. And again, that may be the sound that you're going for, but it's good to be able to know how to do both, to be able to strum with a pick or to be able to strum with your finger. That way you have more options to get the sound that you want. Now, I wanna show you a really cool trick where you can do both. You can use your pick and in the middle of your strumming, you can switch to either finger picking or strumming with your finger. And that way you can really add some dynamics within the song. Maybe for the verse you're strumming with your finger to get that airy, soft sound. And then when you get to the chorus and things are building up in intensity, you can switch to the pick and get a louder, more intense sound. So the way to do this is you wanna take your pick, put it in the fold of your second finger. So right here where your finger bends between these two joints, I'm going to put my pick right there and kind of close on it. So now I'm kind of holding it with that second finger. And that frees my other finger up, so now I can strum with my first finger. And when I'm ready to use my pick, I can grab it and put my thumb underneath the pick and kind of 
pull it up and then grab it with my first finger and kind of twist it over with that second finger. And now I've got it in my hand and I can strum now. And then I can go back to putting it uh, on that second finger between those two joints and then I can grab it again and strum. All right, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you in the next lesson. Take care. Bye.